It's time for your weekly financial workout with your elite personal trainers, Ryan and Bob Payne, guiding you on how to build a stronger and more robust financial plan. So get ready. We're about to pump you up live from the greatest city in the world. This is No Pain, No Gain. Good morning. This is No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. I'm your host, Ryan Payne, president of Payne Capital Management, along with our chief investment officer, the man with the plan, and happens to be my father, Big Bob Payne. Good morning, Dad. What's shaking on this glorious weekend? It's probably glorious in Florida because I'm assuming the weather's a lot better than here in New York City. But what's going on, Bob? Hey, Rye, it was great having you down here last weekend, but the sun just doesn't shine as much as when you're here. That's so true, Bob. I mean, I, th- I feel like that's everywhere, but my girlfriend would probably disagree. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's welcome back to. <laughs> Well, we got a great show for you this morning to help you on your path to financial freedom. We're going to talk about advisors to avoid. Let's face it, there are a lot of charlatans out there in the financial world. Bob and I are going to discuss what red flags you need to look for when picking a financial advisor. We're going to talk about bouncing back. When it comes to investing, it's not about avoiding mistakes, but what decisions you make to recover from your errors. Bob and I are going to discuss how to right your wrongs along with this week's financial propaganda, where we call out the worst advice the financial media has recently been broadcasting, and our spotlight segment, where we actually review and break down someone's real retirement plan for you. So a lot to do. Let's hop to it. Bob, let's talk about some of those warning signs you really need to look out for when shopping for a financial advisor. What are some of the things that we just don't like to see when we're hiring someone to advise us? Well, the worst salesman you could have in your living room, Rye, is someone who has one size fits all product for whatever problem you have financially. Ooh, the product pitch man. Nothing worse than the product pitch man, Bob. The product pitch man's got charts and graphs and statistics to back them up. So shut up and sign. That's the person you don't want to meet. Yeah, well, first off, let's face it. There's no magical product out there that's going to solve all your solutions. So for someone no, just to recommend... absolutely not. Yeah, right. Exactly. It's like for one product to essentially take care of everything you're going to need retirement is kind of ludicrous. And I think the big red flag there, Bob, is if you're meeting with someone for the first time or someone you've been working with for a long time, and they're pitching you something, and they haven't even taken the time to run financial projections, that's a really, really bad start. Well, I just want to cut to the chase, right? Why waste all that time getting to know your values, your, your goals, your dreams, and what's important to you? What's important to them is getting commission on the product they want to sell you. No, exactly right. And that's where you have to start thinking to yourself, do I have a collection of investments where a broker just pitched me all these products and now I have this menagerie of investments in my portfolio? Or do I actually have a process, right? It's about having an investment process, not a product, Bob. Well, it is a big red flag with these product salesmen. If they're pitching something to you and and they're basing the strategy on other smart, clever, rich people using that product as well. You know, Warren Buffett gets used more time than he can ever imagine. Oh yeah, it's like Warren Buffett uses this product or only the wealthy do this. Like that's a red flag right there. You know, using that s- tactic of scarcity versus abundance or exclusivity rather. That's the that's that, one that I you see all the time. This is the question I love, Rye. What are the smart people doing today? <laughs> yeah, right. The smart money got out of the market before it crashed and got back in. Like that doesn't really happen. <laughs> it's not real. <laughs> So I yeah, think, there's, you know, a, there's a there's a pitchman in Philadelphia who's pushing life settlements, right? You got to bet on somebody else dying and claims that this is Warren Buffett's main strategy to create his wealth. Yeah, that is a very dark strategy. <laughs> and you don't want to walk away. You want to run away from a strategy like that. So I think, you know, bottom line is when you're looking to hire an advisor using someone, you have to make sure that they're focusing on the goals first. You know, another red flag, Bob, we find, and we hear this complaint a lot, from people that come into our office is the person we're working with just talks and talks and talks. I can't understand what they're talking about. I just nod my head and I leave the meeting just shrugging my shoulders because I don't really understand what they're talking about. You're talking about someone who hogs the conversation, Rye, what we call a conversational narcissist? Yes, a conversational narcissist. Well put, Bob. Well, you know, there's a number of reasons for that. Number one, they have an exaggerated sense of their own self-importance and they need you for validation. So they just want to keep telling you how great they are and hopefully you believe it. But on the other hand, you got people who are afraid of what they do and they're afraid you might ask a question they don't know. So there's a lot of low self-esteem advisors 
out there who are talking because they don't want you to ask a question, you know, that'll reveal what they're really all about. Yeah. And that doesn't help you with your goals and your dreams. And I think, you know, really a good financial advisor is like a good financial therapist, right? I mean, if we really think about it, it's like you should be able to sit on the couch and you should be able to air out all your concerns when it comes to your finances and someone who's nodding their head listening and then comes back with a solution. You know, anything that doesn't resemble that is a real problem when it comes to having a real partner when it comes to building your financial wealth or making sure you're secure for retirement. Let's face it, Rye, people can't listen if their mouth is, is flapping. If their lips are flapping, they're not listening. Yes, which brings me to the other advisor that we hear a lot of complaints about, the reactive advisor who only calls you maybe number one when they want to sell a product or number two, remember when the market was down big in December and you maybe you had to call your advisor because you never hear from them and then they're playing defense. That's a bad, bad relationship to have. Well, it was like the uh, case we had on Spotlight last week. People were in their late 60s. They were overweighted in, in the stock market. They got hammered in December and their biggest complaint was they haven't talked to their advisor in six months. Yeah. I think the good rule of thumb there, Bob, is you should be hearing from your advisor as opposed to you have to call them. There should be, and I think at the beginning of the relationship, it's really important to set that standard. You know, what is our service standard going to be? Like at our, our firm, we make sure that you get a call. It's every quarter, every month, depending on what that service expectation is. But there should be some sort of expectation of when you're going to hear from your advisor. And it should be proactive, not reactive. And that also goes back to your strategy. You know, nothing's worse than a reactive investment strategy. Yeah, because if you don't have a 12-4-1 strategy where someone's reviewing your portfolio every month, every quarter they're talking to you and rebalancing the portfolio with the cash flow that it generates, and then once a year sitting down with you and updating your written plan, whether it's in the e-money portal or it's on you know a printed out plan, you don't have service. You know, you have probably a reactive salesperson who only calls you when they want to sell you something. Exactly. And I think case in point is when the market sold off in December, that was a real litmus test. To, do you have an advisor that's planned out your dreams and goals where maybe they called you, they let you know we're still on track, this is all part of the plan? Or were you panicking saying, wow, this is what I signed up for, calling that advisor you haven't heard from and trying to figure out what you're doing? That probably was a really great wake-up call. So here's another wake-up call for you. If you feel like you need to get real advice, you want to get a real financial plan in place, and you don't have that now with a real financial advisor, here's your shot to do it. If you're one of the next 10 callers, you have over $200,000 saved for retirement. Bob and I will run for you our famous total financial master plan, and we'll do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review where we look at everything. So all you need to do is bring in those statements, print them off the computer, put them in a folder, bring them in the office. We're going to take all that data and we're going to build for you your own personalized financial portal where we can get a bird's eye view of everything. And then we're going to do a full holistic analysis. We're going to look at all the critical components to your portfolio. We're going to look at things like income. Income is so much more reliable than the market going up in retirement. We're going to figure out how to create an income stream that fills in your income gap. So we're going to show you how to optimize or increase the income on your portfolio. We're going to look at diversification. Are you protected? Do you have a strategy that's going to bulletproof your retirement? We're going to show you how to protect yourself in retirement. And we're going to look at fees. Yes, there's a lot of hidden costs in these investment portfolios, those annuities that you own, mutual funds, brokerage products. Bob and I are going to show you where all the high costs are and how to reduce costs so there's more money in your pocket for retirement. Then we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan and determine the most important question. Are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies now we have worked on for over four decades to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. Hey, don't miss out. All you have to do is call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. If you're one of our next 10 callers, you've saved over 200000 for your retirement. Ryan and I will create for you your own total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation. There's no cost. But of course, there won't be a plan unless you call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844 844- 752-6692. This is Bob Payne. I'm with my son, Rye, and we are the pains of No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. 
It's time for the weekly No Pain, No Gain Market Update with a team at Payne Capital Management here in New York City. Good morning. This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management. And this time last week on the Street of Dreams, all was right with the world of investing with talk of the potential of a melt-up and a buying stampede. Well, only this week, there was no melt-up, only a letdown. First, we had the hawkish comments from Fed Chair Jerome Powell at last week's press conference that recent weakness in inflation was a result of so-called, quote, unquote, transitory factors that will unwind. And then this week, the belief that the U.S. and China trade talks were close to a conclusion crumbled when the White House accused China of backtracking on prior agreements and threatened to raise tariffs on 200 billion of Chinese goods. Now, the market immediately dropped on fears of a full-blown trade war that would negatively impact global economic growth. Now, despite Mr. Trump's threat of higher tariffs, China decided we'll still send a delegation to Washington this weekend to continue the talks. Many believe that threats of economic retaliation from both the U.S. and China are simply negotiating tactics. I think both sides know a trade war benefits no one. Tariffs are bad, but in a global economy, that latest estimates put at north of $80 trillion in GDP, tariffs on $200 billion worth of products is actually an insignificant number. And in reality, most of those tariffs will never be collected. So in effect, all that really happened this week was that rates went down. So bonds climbed in price and stocks declined, making them even more attractive than they were this time last week. The 10-year Treasury bond is yielding just under 2.5% while the German and Japanese 10-year government bonds have no yield. Their yield is actually negative. You actually have to pay them for the right to lend them your own money. Warren Buffett said this week that stocks are ridiculously cheap, especially when you consider the earnings yield of stocks. Now, this is the spread between what the average stock is earning and the yield on the 10-year treasury. And with rates down this week, that makes stocks based on this metric the cheapest they've been since 2016. Now, does this mean it's a good time to buy? Well, who would argue with the greatest investor of our time, the Oracle of Omaha? Now, if you're sitting there wondering, do I have a portfolio that's appropriate to my risk tolerance, to my goals, to my dreams? Can I handle this volatility? Well, why sit there and wonder when you can know? Give us a call. Or simply text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752. 752-6692. This is No Pain, No Gain. Now, back to the show. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. Bob and I want to make sure that you have the most up-to-date, common-sense advice that you can apply to your financial planning and investing. And that's why we put together our latest guide, Highlights from the New Tax Law, just so you're up-to-date on the new tax reform. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish. That's bullish, B U L L I S H, to 555 888. That's the word bullish to 555 888. Highlights from the new tax law, just so you can get up to date on the new tax reform. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish to 555 888. That's the word bullish to 555 888. So, Bob, one of your favorite expressions when it comes to investing is it's okay to be wrong but it's not okay to stay wrong. So I thought we'd use one of my favorite Bobisms, and we can talk about how to bounce back from making a financial mistake so you don't keep repeating the same thing over and over again. And you know, I think the first place you have to look is determining the cause of that mistake and fixing that. You know, Ryan, investing is like a marriage. If um, you go through life saying, you know, my spouse and I never argue, you got a bad marriage. Because, you know, marriages are about compromise and making mistakes and moving forward and, and learning about each other and same things with investing. If you haven't made a mistake with investing, then you've got a bad portfolio. Yeah, that's so true. You know, when someone tells you about all their winnings, it's almost like the person who goes to Atlantic City to the casino. You never hear about when they lose, but you always hear about when they win. So, you know, investing just is not that easy. You're going to make mistakes along the way. But the question is, are you correcting those mistakes, especially when you're getting close to retirement because the stakes are a lot higher, Bob? Well, that's what I love about the markets, right? It's why I'm you know, not just working in the industry, but it's my hobby. As you know, I'm very passionate about investing because I'm always learning. And at the end of every year, 
I'm looking back saying, okay, what could I have done different? What do I own? Is it the right thing? How did everything perform relative to what else I could have invested in? And that's something you really need to do. You need to take inventory and look at each investment and see how it performed. Now, if it underperformed, what could be some of those reasons, Ry? What could be some of the reasons why something's not working? Well, I think a big thing is, number one, you may just have an investment that's not a good investment. And you may just hold on to it, hold on to it. You have the losses on that investment. You're unwilling to get rid of those losses and cut them and get into a better portfolio. And I see that a lot where we're just so unwilling to get rid of something because maybe it's something we picked, our ego's at stake. A lot of times this will happen too when we own one stock and it's a big part of our net worth. There's a big pride there that we think we're going to know when to get out of it. And then we get a big loss on the stock because it goes down, but we're still unable to sell and make a better decision. Right. You know what the number one place a recommendation comes from when you're right off an investment? Where's that, Bob? On the golf course. Never invest <laughs> on a tip in the golf course. They always end in tears. Yeah, that is uh, that is good advice. <laughs> That's really good advice. No place is it worse than uh, on the golf course when people have their hubris out and their ideas out. But I think another thing to think about too, Bob, is, and we saw this in the last couple months when the market sold off heavily here. A lot of times, your inclination is I'm just going to wait with the portfolio I have and wait for things to rebound. A lot of times, it's better to recalibrate. And the analogy I like to use, Bob, it's like when the market went down in December. It's like the tide went down. You're on one boat that has a lot of holes in it. It might be better to jump to another boat where it's much sturdier. So when the tide rises, you're better positioned to take advantage of the rebound. So even though the market sold off, you may want to make some proactive changes to your portfolio. Yeah, you do, right? You want to make sure that, number one, you have a diversified portfolio, that all your eggs aren't in one basket that's going to rise and fall the same. You want to make sure you have what, you know, not to get too wonky, but a negatively correlated portfolio where something stays steady while something, you know, gets rocky. But you also have to look at the performance of each investment. You know, every investment has an underlying index that gives you a base case. So when someone, you know, sometimes when you lose 5% and the market was down 8%, that's actually good relative performance. So you want to be sure that you have the right vehicle, not necessarily you have to make money all the time. You just have to have the right instrument in your portfolio. Yeah. Or on top of that too, just knowing do you have the cheapest investment vehicle? Because a lot of investments do the same exact thing but you can get it at a cheaper price. That's more money in your pocket over the long term. Like we talked about this on a couple shows ago, you can buy the S&P 500 in lots of different forms. Some people would love to charge you 2 or 3% on that investment, whereas you could be charged 0.1% on that investment. I'd rather be charged 0.1% on the same investment that someone wants to charge me 3, Bob. Yeah, it was like that client we had in last month, Rye, who, um, who had a lot of uh, non-traded real estate investment trust. And we show them how much it's underperformed the publicly traded, you know, real estate investment trust index, where there's no cost relative to to that investment. It's liquid. The yield was higher, and it was a hundred percent better performance over the last ten years. So they're they're the ways to to really decide. You know, maybe I made a mistake and I got to fix it. But you know sometimes, right? It's your fault, right? It's your fault because you're taking more risk because you forget the fact that it's ten years later and you're older now. Yes, exactly. And I think it's a great time right now to recalibrate that. I, and I think the first thing you want to do, when we talked about this in the first segment, Bob, isn't to say, hey, let me just sell the losers in my portfolio and pick something else. But now, why don't you go back to your goals first? Rerun the retirement projections because you're 10 years older now. You need a different game plan than you had 10 years ago. Then you can go to the portfolio and say, okay, based on my new goals... I know I don't want to see my portfolio go down like this anymore. I know I need more protection or more income now because I'm closer to retirement. How do I transform my portfolio into that new portfolio for my new goals? Well, that's all comes to planning, right? You have to have your own personal plan. Not You don't want somebody else's plan. You don't want somebody else's goals. You want your goals. You want your plan. You want to have a portfolio that allows you to sleep at night. So, you know, the whole A to B process is really the critical element here, right? Yeah, it really is, Bob. I think the, the worst thing you can do right now is keep your head in the sand, especially mm -hmm. after the volatility that we've seen lately. I think this is the time more than ever. This should be, if nothing else, a real catalyst to finally say, okay, I need to finally start really looking at what I have and get serious about that plan because the dips like we've seen recently, they're going to happen and you want to be better prepared next time than you were this time. Here's really the time to do that. There's no more humbling place in, in the world than the financial marketplace. And it's, uh, you know, if you looked at the portfolios last year in the beginning of the year when interest rates are rising, I think most of our clients were complaining about owning bonds. 
at the end of the year when the stock market was dropping, everybody loved those bonds, right? So we got a great lesson in diversification and conservative portfolios last year. And if you're thinking I had you know, the same issues. Last year, I hated part of my portfolio, part of the year. And the end of the year, I really hated my portfolio. Well, now it might be time to sit down and, and get a review. So if you're thinking, you know, I need to be financially healthy for the rest of my life. I need to know if what's in my portfolio is appropriate. Is it performing well on a relative basis? Do I have mistakes that I made that I need to remedy? Do I need to know the fees I'm paying? Am I being overcharged? Well, you know, here's your opportunity to find that out. If you're one of our next few callers, you've saved at least 200000 for your retirement, Ryan and I will create for you your own total financial master plan. Now, this is a full holistic review where we'll look at everything. It's the only review you'll ever need financially, and you can get it all in one place. We're going to have you gather all your statements, put them in a folder, stick them in a shopping bag, pick up the phone and call us, and we're going to sit down and review everything with you and help you to build your own personalized 360 financial portal that will allow you to view not only your net worth, but your portfolio value in real time, anytime you feel like looking at it, right? We'll make sure that you have all of your investments in one place. And more importantly, we'll have you articulate your goals and have a goal tracker to show you not only what your goals are, but how well you're tracking towards those goals. You have your own scorecard to see if you're on your way to financial independence. And lastly, we're going to break down that portfolio into the three key elements of a successful strategy, diversification, fees, and income. You know, the biggest problem with December of last year, if we had a huge drop in our portfolio, it meant it's, you know, it's the market's way of telling you you're not diversified. So let's make sure we reduce that volatility and look for any hidden risk that will help you to bulletproof that portfolio against future volatility. Cost. I don't know about you, but I really despise being overcharged. And there's nothing worse than being overcharged by your own investments. We're going to create a spreadsheet which will show you every cost in every investment product that you own. We want to reduce those costs because every dollar we save in cost is a dollar that goes to your bottom line. And lastly, income. We want to be certain that we all have that cash flow that fills that income gap that we need in retirement. And if we're retired, our number one goal is to stay retired. And that's all about having a dependable, repeatable income stream. And lastly, we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan that will answer that age old question. Are you going to outlive your money or is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies that my family has been perfecting now for over 40 years. That's right. For four decades, we've been helping families like yours get from your financial point A to your point B, to your goals, to your dreams with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success that only a fiduciary like paying capital management can provide. So don't waste time. Call or text at 844-752-6692. That's call or text 844-752-6692. If you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, you're one of the next 10 callers at 844-752-6692. That's call or text 844-752-6692. Here's your shot to get a second opinion to make sure you're on track at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. This is no pain, no gain. Financial Radio. It's time for Financial Propaganda of the Week. This is where Bob and I scour the daily financial news and call out the biggest offenders of offering obscene and profane financial guidance to help you protect yourself from making any ill-advised financial decisions. So Bob, what did you find out there this week in the egregious world of financial propaganda? Well, you know that I'm the chief investment strategist here at our firm. And uh, every day I'm hunting for new alternatives, good investments. But I also use the past to, to you know give me a good idea of what's going on in the future. So I just went through and looked at the best performing asset classes over the last 10 years, and also came up with the worst. What do you think was the worst performing asset class in the last 10 years? You know what, Bob? Despite what those gold commercials tell you about how great gold is, gold has been the worst performer for the last decade. I know that for a fact. Well, actually, silver underperformed gold. Oh. <laughs> so silver was even worse than gold. Uh, they even made worse. a whole 2 to 3% a year, right, for 10 years. So you mean to tell me all those commercials – when I'm watching CNBC or Fox Business News about gold and silver are actually not truthful in terms of the returns I can expect on gold and silver? 
Well, unfortunately not. And um, what was the best performing investment over the last 10 years? I'm going to get this one right, Bob. Small cap growth stocks. Yes, 14.5% a year versus two. Wow. Now, how many commercials do you see on a daily basis promoting investing in the small company stock market? Funny to mention, Bob, I haven't seen any of them. <laughs> There's no commercials about small cap growth companies. No, every day we see Roslyn Capital and Lear Capital talking about you know, what a great investment gold is, and now we know the truth that it's not. And you know, I went to their website, right? And what it turns out is their representatives aren't investment advisors. They're commissioned salespeople. And right on the website, it tells you that they will receive compensation, sometimes tied to sales activity. Isn't that code for sales contest? See, so, Bob, do you think that maybe that they're trying to sell you gold with no invested interest, that they think that gold is actually going to go up, but they just want to get a transaction so that they can make money on the transaction? Am I that naive Even worse, or is I, that true? Even worse. I went, I went to the Truth and Advertising website and found out that uh, not only do they not sell you gold and silver, they just use that as a reason to get you on the phone, but they tell you they have opportunities in rare numismatic gold and silver coins. Um, <laughs> and it turns out that these are you know, very illiquid, and they mark them up into ridiculous levels. And it looks like that, um, you know, Lear Capital and Roslyn Capital make all the money and the client gets stuck with a bag of worthless coins. When you start using words like numismatic, you got me, you lost me there. That's probably the time that you should stop looking at that investment. And I think an important point is, and we talk about this on the show at Nauseam, is you want a portfolio of income producing investments. That's the key to retirement. Let's face it, gold and silver create no income that you can live on. You're just solely dependent on is the price of gold or silver going to go up or down? And your guess is as good as mine. And based on the last decade, it doesn't go up that much. Now, it looks like uh, we had a little bit of misleading advertising. And now we know how they're able to pay for all that expensive advertising it comes out of your pocket. I'm going to switch gears a little bit here, Bob. And I'm going to talk a little bit about what we've seen a lot of the news right now, and it's about preparing for a deep recession and a bear market. In fact, you gave me this statistic a couple of weeks ago. In December, the word recession was Googled just as many times as it was back in 2009 when the market was at its big bottom. So you're hearing a lot about, are we going into recession? I've had that question asked a lot to me in recent weeks. And let's face it, Bob, you and I, we look at every measure of the economy and going to a recession right now is probably more unlikely than it is at most times in history. Yeah, it really is, right? Because the numbers are good. And, you know, yes, they have slowed down a bit. But we just had 22% year over year growth in earnings. It was a fabulous year. You can't do that every year. You know, things don't grow to the sky, but we certainly don't go from, you know, full acceleration to recession. I mean, it just doesn't happen that way. Yeah, and I think a big point to make about that is right now we have one of the lowest unemployment rates that we've ever had in our country. In fact, it's a 50-year low, Bob, which it's very hard to go into a recession when most people in the country are at work. And furthermore, wages went up last year. So people are making more money over last year, and you have more people employed than you've had in 50 years. It's very hard to go into a recession when you have numbers like that. Well, Brian, why do people make these forecasts? Is it strictly to make fortune tellers look good? <laughs> well, that's the other thing I think there's a misconception. You know, we, we hear all these pundits and we talk about how the stock market sold off in anticipation that the economy was going to slow down to a recession this year. But what we don't realize is the market is a very bad indicator or predictor short term. And Bob, what I mean by that is the market gets it wrong a lot. You know, there's an old joke, the market predicted nine of the last five recessions, meaning that it, even if the market goes down, it doesn't mean you're going into recession. Well, that's what drives me crazy about investors. I mean, when you have a market that goes down in price, it's a better time to buy, but people want to sell. It's like going to the mall right now and you go to your favorite store and, you're, and a sweater that you bought just a month ago is on sale. It's half price. Do you run home to your closet, Ryan, and pick up the sweater and try and sell it back to the store? Or do you actually take advantage <laughs> of the sale and buy another one? Exactly. If you're, if you're using a, an investment process and strategy versus just winging it because you know, people are warning you something bad's going to come, that's going to impel you to make good investment decisions. And I think that's important right now. This is why you want your investment decisions to be tied to your goals, not on the anticipation of recession we're probably not going to have, Bob. Yeah. I mean, if you, th if you think about it, right, the stock market was down 6% last year. And if you're in a balanced portfolio, that means you're 
your target allocation to equities was down 3%. Is it really hard to put 3% more into stocks when they're on sale? It sounds easier than it looks, Bob. <laughs> or it, it looks easier <laughs> than it is. I think I said that right. Um, if you're thinking to yourself right now, I need a strategy based on my goals, not on all the fear, doom and gloom that the media keeps propagating, not on if we're going to go into a recession, not a recession, but an all-weather portfolio that's going to generate income and is going to make sure that I'm secure in retirement. Here's your shot to do it. If you're one of the next few callers, we still have a couple slots left. You have over $200,000 saved for retirement. Myself and Bob will run for you our total financial master plan, and we're going to do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review that looks at everything. Simply print those statements, put them in a folder, bring them in the office. We're going to take all that data and we're going to build for you your own personalized financial portal where we can get a bird's eye view of everything. And then we're going to look at all the critical components to your portfolio. We're going to look at everything from income. Income is so critical in retirement and much more reliable than the ups and downs of the stock market. We're going to show you how to increase or optimize the income on your portfolio to cover your expenses in retirement. We're going to look at diversification. How do you protect yourself when the market goes down? Did you get hit really hard at the end of last year? We're going to show you how to safeguard or protect your portfolio in retirement. And we're going to look at fees. Yes, there's a lot of hidden costs in investment portfolios. Shocking. We're going to show you where all the hidden fees in those annuities, in those insurance products, mutual funds, brokerage products. We're going to show you how to reduce costs on your portfolio so there's more money going into your pocket. Then we're going to tie it all together and determine the most critical question. Are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies now, our family has worked on for over four decades to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. Hey, don't miss out. Here's your opportunity. Text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next few callers, you've saved over 200000 for your retirement. Our team will run for you your own total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation. There's no cost. There's no strings attached. But there's no plan unless you call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. This is Bob and I'm with Rye and we're the pains. No pain, no gain. Financial Radio. Ready for what Bob and Ryan have to say next? All right, everyone, gird your loins. Let's find out. It's no pain, no gain financial radio, and Bob and I, we're simple men. So, of course, we like to keep it simple for you, giving you common sense advice for your planning and investing. And that's why we put together our latest guide, Highlights from the New Tax Law, just to get you up to speed with the new tax reform. You can download it for free. Simply text the word BULLISH. That's bullish, B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888. That's the word bullish, to 555-888. Highlights from the new tax law just to get up to speed with the new tax reform. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. And if you want to learn more about me and Bob, you can check us out in the World Wide Web. Simply go to bebullish.com. You can subscribe to the show there. You can get all the old shows so you can hear what we've said in the past, which can be exciting too. But most excitingly, you can see what Bob's hair looks like. It's real, but check it out for yourself. Go to bebullish.com. You can check myself out and our advisors here at Pain Capital Management on most major networks from CNBC to Fox Business News to Yahoo Finance every week talking about the markets and the economy. Also, For our younger investors, if you have kids that are investing, millennials, we have a YouTube channel called moneyminutes.com. Go to moneyminutes.com. You can check it out. They can get some information on just getting the planning process started. So for your younger millennial kids, if you're a millennial listening, which is rare, you can go to moneyminutes.com. You can check out our content there specifically for millennials and investing. And if you ever have a question for me and Bob, you can always email us questions at bebullish.com. That's questions at bebullish.com. Bob and I answer all your questions directly. And if it's a really good question, we answer it right here on the show. And like every week, Bob, we got some pretty good questions. The first one comes in from Janice. She's in Red Bank, New Jersey. She writes in, Bob, my husband and I have met with a couple of different financial advisors. And both of them seem like they only want to talk to him like I'm just some kind of innocent bystander. 
What do I need to do to show that I'm an important part of this conversation too? So, Janice, you hit the nail on the head. This industry, Wall Street in general, has been a male-dominated industry for as long as I've been doing this, and that's over 45 years. So when my son Ryan and I launched Pain Capital Management 10 years ago, we wanted to be certain that what happened to you never happens to another woman. And Pain Capital has, what, 80% of our of our people are, are female. Is that correct, Ry? 80% of our advisors are women, Bob. That's correct. 80%, yes. Yeah. So, so I guess, Janice, the first thing I would do is sit down with one of our advisors. But besides that, you want to have a voice. I mean, let's face it. These are your goals. These are your dreams. And you need to speak up and make sure these advisors recognize that your goals matter. As a matter of fact, uh, based on the actuarial tables, you're going to outlive your husband. So it should be very critical to you to be certain that you understand what you own, you know why you own it, and you have your own personal, what we call A to B strategy. Yeah. And I just add to that, Bob, this is one of the important things. We like to meet with both spouses, but that's is also why we have our 360 portal, which we talk about. Because let's face it, you may be the spouse that's most interested or not, but having one place where all of your finances are is a big deal. I can't tell you how many times we've dealt with a spouse who's now a widow, a widower, because their spouse passed away and they can't get into the passwords to different accounts and it's impossible to get into them and the stress is already great because you just lost your loved one. So I think you know doing it together and having a portal that you can both access so you know where all the data is, is a huge step in the right direction to make sure that you and your spouse are on the same page, which is so critical. Well, you know, the fact of life is this, like, not all of your spouses are interested, right? We have joint account relationships with everyone we've ever worked with in our firm. And sometimes one of the spouses just isn't interested. But with our strategy, with our 360 financial portal, we act as if you are because one day you may want to drop in and one day you may have to drop in because your other spouse is gone. So it's a process. And that process is critical, Janice, whether it's for you or your husband or for anybody else for that matter, right? Everybody has to know that one day they're going to be responsible you know, for the financial health of your life. So I hope that helps, Janice. And uh, hey, Ryan, I got another email here from Jack out on Huntington, Long Island. He says, Ryan, I'm retiring in three years and I have almost a million dollars in my 401k, but I also have about $60,000 in consumer debt between credit cards and car loans. Is it worth taking the money out of my 401k now while I'm still working and get that debt paid off? What do you think, Ryan? Jack, it might be. I and mean, here's the reason why. You have to find out what rates you're paying on those debts. You know, Sometimes you might have a really favorable rate. Maybe it's 2%. Just throwing a number out of a hat and maybe pay it off slowly and don't worry about taking money out of the 401k. But what if you're paying 10% or 15%? Now, here's what I would recommend, Bob, is I wouldn't just take the money out of your 401k. You could do a loan against your 401k where the interest you're paying back is to yourself back into the 401k, whereas paying interest to a bank or somebody else. You know, there's a lot of ways to handle debt, right? I mean, first of all, only real estate debt is deductible. So sometimes maybe taking out a, a mortgage uh, if you have a large debt, you know, to pay it off. But, you know, debt's a very personal thing. And we always find you want to reduce that borrowing down to the sleeping point. And Jack, if that bothers you having $60,000 in debt, you should pay it off right away, whether it's taking out of your 401k or just rebalancing the borrowing, right? There's always cheaper ways to borrow than a credit car or a car loan. Yeah, and I think that's where the holistic planning is critical because who knows, maybe to your point, Bob, borrowing against your home might be a more favorable rate. Maybe even borrowing against your portfolio might be a more favorable rate, but you have to look at all the different variables because there's a lot of ways to cut a cake. And what you know, what's good for you might not be good for your neighbor just because your financial situation is unique to you. That's where our 360 financial portal comes in handy, Rye. I uh, had one of my best clients uh, the other day call me and said, hey, Bob, you know, I just realized that I've got a line of credit against one of my homes and the interest rates creeping up. What can we do? And we were able to go in and take a loan against his portfolio that was one and a half percent better in interest rates than what he was currently paying. So there's lots of great solutions out there. And it's, um, you know, something that uh, a full holistic review is really what everyone needs. And let me ask you, Rye, you know, Janice and Jack have a lot of different issues on a scale of one to 10, how financially organized do you think they are? Oh, man. Janice and Jack, you have a lot of work to do. A hard 3.4, Bob. Well, you know, you're being a little generous, right? I like, I like that. Now, I want to ask all of you, on a scale of one to 10, how financially organized are you? 
Now, if you didn't answer at 10, here's your opportunity, because if you're one of our next 10 callers and you saved at least $200,000 for retirement, Ryan and I will create for you your own 360 financial portal. It's a full holistic view of what you own and better yet, you'll understand why you own it. Because not only will we be able to update your portfolio in real time, no matter where the money is custody, you'll be able to see your entire net worth in real time whenever you feel like dropping in and looking at it. More importantly, it'll display all your goals and produce a report card whenever you want to look at it on how well you're progressing towards those goals. You'll be able to know what you own and you'll know why you own it. And you'll be able to look at it whenever you have the time, not when somebody else tells you to do it. And on top of that, we're going to take all of your information. So what I need you to do right now is grab all of your statements, stick them in a folder, stick them in a shopping bag. End of the year statements are all in. Pick up the phone, set up an appointment, and we're going to take your portfolio and break it down into the three key elements of a successful strategy. Diversification, cost, and income. We want you to be bulletproof against this future volatility. We need to look at your portfolio to be certain that you don't have any hidden risk that will cause your portfolio to underperform in this most volatile time period. We're going to look at costs. You know, are you being overcharged by your portfolio? Are you paying unnecessary portfolio fees and those annuities and those mutual funds that can be eliminated by simply replacing those investments with less expensive strategies? And lastly, income. You know, we need to replace the cash flow once we're in retirement. And when we're in retirement, our number one goal is to stay retired. And that's where you need a repeatable, dependable income stream. And lastly, we're going to tie it all together into one customized total financial master plan that will answer that age old question. Are you going to outlive your money or is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies that my family's been perfecting now for over 40 years. That's right. For four decades, we've been helping families like yours get from your financial point A to your point B, your goals, your dreams with the least amount of risk and only the certainty that a fiduciary like pain capital management can provide. So don't waste time. Call or text at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. We still have a couple slots left. If you call right now and have over $200,000 saved for retirement, that's 844-752-6692. That's call or text 844-752-6692. Here's your shot to get a second opinion to make sure you're on track. That's 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. This is no pain, no gain. Financial Radio. Here's this week's Spotlight on No Pain, No Gain. It's No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. And we want to make sure that you have the most up-to-date, common-sense information that you can actually use. And that's why we put together our highlights from the new tax law that gives you all the updates for the tax reform. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish. That's bullish, B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888. That's the word bullish, 555-888. Highlights from the new tax law. You can download it for free. It gives you the updates on the new tax reform. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's text the word bullish to 555-888. And now we have a very, very special guest on the show. My colleague, Bob's colleague, financial advisor, Frankie, Francesca, Frankie's friends, La Gretaria. Hello. That's a lot of names. <laughs> yes, I was going to say. <laughs> or, come in, come in, my whole government. <laughs> <laughs> what I really meant to say is, do you want to be one of Frankie's financial friends? And I feel like after this segment, you probably will. Prob- probably will. Yeah. <laughs> Safe to assume. <laughs> <laughs> Safe to assume. Well, thank you so much for having me. Always a pleasure. Um, and this is, Frank, our spotlight segment where we actually take a real case. We talk about it and talk about some changes we helped a couple make in this case uh, to make sure that they were on track for retirement. And you and I worked on a case recently, so we thought that would be a great case to spotlight on our show today. Yeah, definitely. Definitely a good one to uh, to review because we've seen this a lot. Every time we see a new case, everything's a little bit different, of course, but you know the people are, are the same. The reactions are the same. So the big one for this, I realized, was cost versus benefit analysis. Okay. Well, let me ask cost. you, Frankie, were these costs evident or was they, or are they hidden? 
Oh, they were not evident. They were not evident that they were paying over a hundred grand, over a hundred and one grand a year in fees. Oh, yes. that's ridiculous. It's a lot of money on fees. It's a lot of money. Just that's just a lot of money. <laughs> So we met with this couple, and, and they have a few different annuities and such. Cost benefit, you know, they, they saw that they wanted to make sure that they were conservative. They didn't want to lose their cost basis, the money they put in, income for life. But they don't realize everything that they're giving up for that. You know, there's no mm-hmm. such thing as a free lunch. Yes. And this is a $100,000 course. And the crazy thing about it is, and talking about you give something up, so they were going to get these guaranteed income streams for life which sounds fantastic but mm-hmm. what our client didn't realize is he has to give up his entire principal to get that and he was like mm. wait a second i have to give up my principal which is a lot to give up in retirement oh absolutely because you know yes it's nice to have an income stream for life you know give me that ten thousand dollars every year every month whatever it is but what if something happens? What if you have a medical emergency? What if you have, you know, a home emergency? What if you just want to access your cash because you've worked your whole life and you deserve it? Well, why is it that people end up in these annuities when you could get the same, well, actually get a better income stream from a portfolio of high quality municipal bonds where the income is tax free versus taxable? Mm-hmm. Frank, is it possible because no one gets a 10% commission for selling you a municipal bond? <laughs> <laughs> I, you know that might be uh, that might be a reason. <laughs> um, you know, Rob, we should do a financial a propaganda uh, segment just on these annuity sales pitch because the ones that they run in the Philadelphia area, they say, "Oh, there's no fees that I can discern." And meanwhile, every single annuity we've analyzed, the fees are huge. Why is, doesn't that have to be revealed on television? It just drives me nuts. It is, and, it, and it's crazy. You know, we, so what we did was we took a look at these annuities and said, we said, okay, what if we take this, you know, liquidate this plan, get out of these high costs, these high expensive uh, annuities, and we put you in something conservative, like a 35-65. So 35% in the markets, 65% in nice safe bonds. What would that look mm-hmm. like? Well, one, in, even in the worst case scenario, let's talk about a 2008 scenario. Mm-hmm. It was down 11%. We can swing that. We can swing that for one year. Number two, sure. we're bringing in over two hundred and twenty thousand dollars in income. I can deal with that. Yeah, and that's yeah. the big thing here is they can generate enough income on their investments without giving up their principal and even touching their principal to cover their lifestyle. So instead of putting it into an annuity where they give up their principal, they get to keep their principal. And going back to the fees, Frankie, it's staggering. We've estimated by just getting into a low cost portfolio where it's paying a lot of current income to you, they're saving $80,000 every single year. That's an insane amount of money. You can live off of that easily. People live off of less than that per year. So absolutely, it, it really becomes like a no brainer, but it's, it's really important to take a look at everything, analyze the situation, You know, make sure What am I getting out of this? Really run that cost benefit analysis or call us because we'll do it where we're saying, okay, what am I paying versus what am I getting? And then what can I do differently? You know, but it's so hard for you to know that. I mean, a lot of times when you when you question the person who pitched you the product, they're going to go right into their sales pitch again and give you all the benefits, but none of the negatives. You always need to get a second opinion. And again, we what we do with with anyone who comes in with an insurance product, we go right to the insurance company where you talk to the people in the back office yes. aren't trying to sell you anything, but are brutally honest and tell you the bold truth. And uh, that's why we keep smelling salts in our office because a lot of times people pass out when they find out. Oh my. And that's the case with this annuity is we actually just called the companies directly. And here's the other thing to think about. So the way that the annuity company will dissuade you from taking your money out of it is they were going to have to pay $60,000 in surrender charges. But think about this math. Even though you pay the $60,000 in surrender charges, you're saving $80,000 a year. So after 24 months, you're better off. You've saved way more money being out of those annuities than sitting in those annuities where, again, you're losing about $80,000 a year. So even though you have a back-end charge on some of these annuities, a lot of times it's still worth it to rip the Band-Aid off and get the heck out. Well, sometimes, Ry, you know, I've had situations where you know, it's just, it's too, too big of a mountain to climb. 
So you're allowed to take out 10% every year without penalty. And so a lot of cases we'll do that as well. But you know what's interesting, Frankie, every single case we've had where a client, you know, got sold an annuity and we sit down and do the analysis and show them what's available, you know, and other investment strategies, we've never had anyone not do it, right? We've never had anyone who didn't redeem or take out at least the 10% every year and get their money working for them as opposed to the salesman or the insurance company. No, absolutely. I mean, we see it, we see this a lot and, you know, people are blinded by fear. And we see that a lot in, in everyday scenarios, in finance, in life, people are blinded by fear. They hear these really lovely things like income for life. And you think, oh, what if I pass away? My spouse will be taken care of. Nah. Well, or they hear, you know, you won't lose your cost basis. Well, you know, there's other ways that you can save money and be conservative and make money and take care of your family. You just need to see what all the options are on the table. So, you know, keep your eyes open, shop around. Yeah. I mean, you wouldn't just go, you know, into surgery because, you know, one schmuck on the street was like, hey, I think that's infected. Right. Well, you know, one thing I've learned in 45 years is that all of you are suckers for the truth. You know, find the truth. That's the key. Yeah, exactly right. So if you're thinking to yourself right now, I could use a second opinion. I want to know the fees I'm paying on my investments. Is there a better way? Is there a cheaper way that I can essentially set up my retirement? Here's your shot to do it. We'll do a review just like this. We still have a couple slots left. If you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, myself, Bob, Frankie Lagrateria will run for you. Our total financial master plan, we're going to do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review just like this. Just bring in those statements, print them off the printer, bring them in the office. We're going to build for you your own personalized financial portal, and we're going to do the full analysis on your investments so you understand why you own them or why you shouldn't own them, and we're going to look at all the same things. So we're going to look at fees. We're able to save this couple $80,000 a year. That's mind-numbing. Can we help you reduce costs on your portfolio? We're going to show you where all the hidden fees are. We're going to show you how to optimize income. We're able to generate over $200,000 a year in income for this couple, fill in that income gap. Can we optimize or increase the income on your portfolio so you're not touching your principal? And we're going to look at diversification. Did you get hurt when the market took a big dive back at the end of the year? We're going to show you how to safeguard or protect your portfolio against those market declines over your lifetime. And then we're going to tie it all together. We're going to determine the most important question. Are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you utilizing strategies now we have worked on for over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success? All you have to do is text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844 844- 752-6692. If you're one of the next few callers, we have a few spots open and you have over 200000 saved for your retirement, our team will run for you, your own total financial master plan. Now there's no obligation. There's no cost, but there's no plan. Unless you call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Well, another great show. And it's always great to have the famous... Infamous in some places, Frankie Lagrateria. What? <laughs> 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 Nuh-uh. <laughs> Not infamous. <laughs> <laughs> Only joking. <laughs> Maybe. Catch me on the street. Hey. <laughs> I don't know. I've been, I've been checking out uh, St. John's University. I'm getting some stories. <laughs> <laughs> Public safety called. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for being on the show, Frank. It's always a pleasure. I think everyone now wants to be one of Frankie's financial friends. Oh, very cool. Thanks for having me, guys. Always a blast. Have a great weekend, and as always, be bullish. Information provided on today's show is provided for information purposes only and does not constitute investment, tax, or legal advice. Information has been obtained from sources that are deemed to be reliable, but their accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed. Always consult with an investment, legal, or tax professional before taking any action.